Omicron pushing COVID out of pandemic, EU regulator suggests. Due to the COVID-19 Omicron variant, European nations are heading to two potential outcomes. Either way, millions of people are most likely to face the brunt of the latest pandemic wave. If they succeed, the reward may just be a game changer. So what are these two outcomes? The Omicron variant is powering the surge of new COVID cases in the EU. Many nations are definitely feeling the heat as the variant is showing no signs of slowing down. On one hand, that is dangerous because millions of people are at risk of hospitalization and death. However, another hand is hinting at an endemic disease. Unfortunately, there's no single method to perfectly stop the risk from happening. According to BBC, the World Health Organization is predicting half of Europe will become infected by the Omicron variant. This projection isn't in months or years but within weeks. Dr. Hans Kluge, WHO Regional Director for Europe said a west-to-east tidal wave of Omicron was sweeping across the region. This was happening on top of a Delta variant surge. In short, Europe is battling two variants on multiple fronts. Within the first week of 2022, Europe reported 7 million cases and that might be enough clue to what the future holds. Without a break, the total Omicron cases might balloon to a staggering over 50% of the region's population in the next 6 to 8 weeks or in 2 months. The most obvious result is the flooding of hospitals and hospital staff being worn out by the current wave. Vaccines still play a role in managing the wave but are more limited to preventing severe illness and death. If we had no vaccine, Omicron would likely be lethal to many people. That's the first potential outcome. So what's the other? Let's say the vaccination rates go toe-to-toe with the Omicron wave. There's a good chance that Europe will have lots of people with immunity against Omicron. When this happens, COVID-19 may be pushed to endemic status in the context of Omicron resistance. As most developed immunity against it, the variant's chance to circulate longer may drop significantly. With the increase of immunity in population and with Omicron, there will be a lot of natural immunity taking place on top of vaccination. We will be fast moving towards a scenario that will be closer to endemicity, said Marco Cavalieri, head of vaccine strategy at EMA, per Medical Express. Giving booster shots every four months isn't an effective strategy. We need something better to stop this pandemic. What do you think about the EU's outcome during this Omicron wave? Will the region put COVID-19 into an endemic status? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Till our next video, thanks for watching.